And what a lovely way to start the video. This is my No ID Vanda that I got a few weeks ago. It still has some blooms on it. And, you know, like everybody else, I'm in the market for more Vandas. I don't know why it seems to be a thing that all of us want to do right now. I'm having an issue with spider mites right now, and I've been running into a little bit of scale, so I'm going through some treatments. Yeah, I, I know. It gets cloudy every time I want to film, but that's okay. Uh, I'm working on it, and I also may be having... You can't see it right now. I may be having a uh, calcium magnesium deficiency, so I've picked up some Epsom salts, and I'm uh, actually in the process of doing what was suggested to me by David. Thank you, David. Um, an eggshell water. My very tall Oncidium sherry baby spike starting to open its blossoms. See if I can move in a little bit. I'm still struggling with my new eyesight from my eye surgery, so sometimes I see fuzzy, but you might not. Or I see clear and you might not. But anyway, there goes the spike. It's very, very long and full of quite a few blooms. My green light Christianana Eh, I can never say that. Christian Sonia Vietnamica um, Cross. It's still in bloom. Still opening up. The blooms are hanging on nicely. Uh, I won't get any more on, but they look pretty good. They are very, very white. You can't really tell that much from here. Like I said, every time I film, here we go. Cloudy weather, sunny, cloudy, sunny, then it'll go to rain. Roger Frampton was just talking about this. He said he had two blooms on his, um, okay, we're running out of focus here. Let me move back. He was mentioning about his two blooms on his, um, Brassivola nodosa, and then all of a sudden he saw a third. I looked about three, four days after he said that, and look, oh well, not look that way, look, there's a third bloom on mine. I just don't know what to say, it's kind of weird, 